Okay. Hello. So, uh, you know how I said I was... Hang on, is my lens... Yeah, my lens is a little dirty. Oh, whatever. You know how I said I was going to do that San Diego Zoo video? Well, uh, a couple days ago, something fucked up. So, you see, this computer right down here was having a few problems. The power supply wasn't waking it up with these two external drives hooked up. And it was, uh, this power supply, I'll show you right here, the Thermaltake power supply that just wasn't working right. So we swapped it out. I gave my mom the, uh, the 750 watt power supply that I've had for the past three, maybe three and a half years I've had this system. This was, uh, this is what I started with. My old i5-6400. But, uh, yeah, there's my system. So we put my power supply in there. But then being the dumbass I was, I decided, eh, what's the harm? I mean, it's already... It was being lazy anyway. The power supply was being lazy, couldn't turn the computer on. What's the worst it's gonna do? And then it realized, oh hey, I guess I can use 850 watts. And then channeled it straight into my boot drive. More specifically, into this capacitor and I think that's this capacitor. So my operating system was gone. This is the drive I've had since high school. This right here was my upgrade from Windows XP my senior year of high school. So as you can see, we've got something different in here. 750 watt Corsair, again, modular like the other one, 80 plus gold like the other one. And it's got pretty, pretty friggin' pricey. As you can see, we've got a new drive in here. My phone is just choosing to just focus on all the wrong stuff, but got a new drive right here. Now luckily, Windows stores the the uh, the key for the operating system stores the product key on the motherboard. So this it held together. It's not working as steadily as it used to, but I'll get to that in a moment. So I was hoping. Okay, this thing blew. It was old. Maybe it would be just that. But no. Everything is gone. Every single thing is gone. Aside from the motherboard, the CPU, and the memory. These two drives right here, not working. Now, there may be some hope. Seems to be a PCB issue. I swapped this, put the, sorry to flip you off guys, but swap this. There's a BIOS chip on the back. I take that off, put that on a replacement board. This one could be up and running. Same goes for this. This is a Toshiba like you saw, but I can't get help for that because one, I can't find a specifically Toshiba motherboard or new uh, PCB to go with this drive. Two, this exact model is one letter. One letter away from being something that's mentioned anywhere on Toshiba's website. And three, I really should not be doing this with a magnet attached to the flashlight. Now the focus on this phone is useless. Come on. It's right there. I'm holding it still. Thank you. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Anyway. Apparently the board on here, after reaching out, the board here 
is a Hitachi board. This isn't even a Toshiba Drive, apparently. Or maybe it is, maybe it's just rebranded. But whatever it is, for now, I just have a sh like a, a fragment of what my computer used to be. Just the, the shattered remains. Like I was saying, the rest of the drive, or sorry, the rest of the computer, it's still there, but the best way I can describe it is, like, imagine having a really good friend, you know, they're there, they're, they're dependable, absolute beast, and then they get hit by a car, but they, you know, they survive, they walk away, kinda, they're still alive, uh, still talking the way they used to, but they got like a little, little neck twitch, and, you know, a little wincing in their face, not exactly walking straight upright, you know, little slant over to one side. That that's basically my system now. This is this is it. This is my system. This is my life. Yeah. And that's where all my projects and videos are stored. Now the script. The script for that is still here. This works. It's okay. But you know, a lot I gotta take care of. How you doing, Fuzzball? And he's still here, chubby ass bird. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you what I've been working on. Your sapphire. Hey, sapphire, say hi. Hang on, let's turn the lights on. Hey, Sapphire, how you doing, baby girl? How you doing? The little lady. So, to show you I haven't just given up on everything. Yeah. But, uh... I'm already, like, 200 bucks down for that repair job. 200 bucks down for a spare SSD. The one that's in my computer now is the second one. Uh, and sort of, we got two of them. One's still in a drawer, the other is in the system. We got the new power supply. The PCBs are going for the hard drives for 36 and 42 bucks respectively, and they're probably shipped from China. That's another five or 10 bucks to swap the BIOS chips. And if that doesn't work, it'll be another $300 per drive at least to recover the data and do the repairs and they may even have to outsource it to a different company or somewhere wherever I go to go to like one of the big professional guys who charge up to three thousand dollars to recover data and I just I don't have that kind of money I want something that will fix the drives you know I'll, I'll try and make videos the way I used to. I'll try to keep finding ways to bring back what I had and, you know, see if it's up and running again. But for now, things are going to be really, really slow. So, just thought I'd keep you in the loop.